the Faroe Islands, a tiny, beautiful island nation at the heart of the Northeast Atlantic, battered by wind and weather, pounded by storm-swollen waves, and open on all sides to the heaving ocean currents that create a unique marine ecosystem around it. This is a place where the sea and its resources are of vital importance. Faroese ground fish fisheries are quite unique compared with other countries, as they are not regulated by quotas. Instead, ground fish fisheries in the Faroe Islands are regulated by fishing days, which are fixed by law on an annual basis and allocated to different vessel groups. This system was designed to take account of the fact that ground fish fisheries on the Faroe East shelf are mixed fisheries, where several different species of fish coexist in the same ecosystem. Matching regulation to the nature of the fishery means that discards are not a problem in Faroese fisheries, unlike in many other countries that are still struggling to eliminate such unsustainable practices. The main objective of Faroese fisheries regulations today is to conserve fish stocks and ensure they remain equally or more productive for future generations. This includes protecting juvenile fish and reducing pressure on any stocks that may be in poor condition. Specific marine areas are closed to fisheries in order to protect fish stocks, especially juvenile fish and spawning areas. These areas can be closed to all fisheries or to certain vessel types. For example, Approximately 45% of the Faroe East shelf is closed to trawling all year. It is also prohibited to fish commercially close to shore, and at certain times, not even from small coastal boats. Other areas are off limits for trawling all year round in order to protect corals. Vessels are required by law to report to the Fisheries Inspection Service if the percentage of juvenile fish in their catch is larger than a certain prescribed level. And if a high proportion of juvenile fish is found in a particular area, an immediate temporary ban is announced on national radio and on the fisheries inspection website. All fishing vessels must have functioning transponder VMS systems on board, so that the fisheries inspection can monitor the position of each individual vessel at all times. Faroese waters are patrolled by the Fisheries Inspection Service all year round and it frequently boards vessels to inspect fishing gear and catches. Each vessel has a fishing license that specifies what, where and when the vessel is permitted to fish. All catches must be landed by authorised landing stations and weighed on authorised scales. In general, Faroese commercial fisheries legislation and inspection aims to manage the exploitation of marine fish stocks around the Faroes in a biologically and economically sustainable way, providing the best possible socio-economic benefits for Faroese society. By law, marine resources in Faroese waters are the property of the Faroese people and are managed for the public good. <laughs> 